EKU softball continued their seven-game homestand yesterday with a doubleheader against the Cougars of SIU Edwardsville. Samantha Reynoso started game one, and after giving up a one-out single in the opening frame, she would get both Marlowe and Curtis swinging to retire the side. Top of the second, Cougars with two on, looking to plate the first run against Colonel Pitching in 27 innings, but Reynoso wouldn't allow that to happen as she freezes Cobb Adams to strand the runners and keep the streak alive. Bottom three, Revis in the circle for SIUE facing Destiny Lismore. She turns on the first pitch she sees and sends it over the left field wall with the quickness. It was the senior's 10th home run of the season, moving her into a tie with fellow senior Hannah Clark for the team lead. EKU up 1-0. Still in the third, Colonel's at the corners and Emily Corbett bounces one through the left side. Clark would score the second of the three runs in the inning. Top four and Reynoso catches Bina staring at a pitch on the inside corner to make it 30 innings since Eastern pitching has allowed a run. Colonel's half of the inning and Sammy Miller's going to get things started in an interesting way. Singles through the right side. She wants to stretch it into a double but runs into the Cougar first baseman which causes her to get thrown out at second. Miller's telling first base coach Stacy Mae Johnson, yo, I would have had that bag if Schaefer wasn't in my way. So the umps talk about it, and they agree, awarding the sophomore first base. Lismore up next, and she sends a 1-0 pitch into left center that one-hops the wall. Miller scores from first, and the Florida native is all smiles on senior day as she collects her second ribby of the game. Bottom five, two outs with the runner at first, and Miller puts a charge into this Vizenilic offering, sending it to center. Heron gives chase but runs into the wall as Miller just missed her second home run of the year. Melissa Jacobson will slide in safely, and Miller will have to settle for her fourth triple of the season. Colonels lead 6-0. Top seven, Reynoso still in the circle, and that no-runs-allowed streak has reached 32 and one-thirds innings. 32 and two-thirds now as Miller lays out and robs SIUE of extra bases. But that's where it would end, as the Cougars would plate two. On the bright side, Eastern Kentucky takes game one, 6-2. Reynoso picks up her seventh win, tossing seven full innings, allowing just two runs on six hits while striking out five. She would not earn a complete game, however, as Molly Pollock came in to face one batter. Now on to the nightcap. Bottom one, EKU with two on, and Carly Robinson decides that's too many as she loops one to left center. Miller and Lismore score, giving Robinson her 25th and 26 RBIs of the season. Revis would face Emily Corbett next. She launches a 2-1 blast over the left field wall as the Colonels light up a four spot. Bottom three, Colonels lead 6-2 with the maroon jersey on every base, and Hannah Clark makes history with this single. Jacobson and Miller score, allowing Clark to pass Colonel great Raquel Howes as the program's all-time RBI leader with 167 driven in. Bottom four, Zoe Mahalis up with one out. Bam! She cracks her fifth homer to left. She now has 23 RBIs on the year. Still in the fourth, Jacobson up after a Brooke Harrison single, and she makes the Cougars pay for playing her shallow as she hits one to deep right. Harrison comes in to score, giving Jacobson an RBI triple, putting EKU up 10-2. Murphy McRoberts in to close the door, and she does it in style, snagging this hot shot and getting it over to Lismore to complete the double play as Eastern Kentucky locks down their fifth win in a row. And the six seniors didn't disappoint on senior day as they all tallied hits, recorded some outs, and turned a nifty double play. The Colonels are back in action should the weather allow it on Sunday when they take on Eastern Illinois. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.